Oh well, guys, uh, we're getting ready to close our shop, but uh, Uni came in with a simple fix. Uh, might as well just take care of it today. That way tomorrow, driver can use this unit and not have to take a spare. So we're gonna go ahead and address this one. Let me show you guys what it is, all right? Well guys, uh, driver, look at this stop on. It'll just swing open, motor starts going. Basically, it does nothing. As the driver's driving, wind, stop arm just flaps. That's not, I mean, it's dangerous, so we got to address this issue. Uh, on these in the past, we've taken them apart. They have a motor with a gearbox inside this box here that'll control the movement of the stop arm. It'll close it, and then it'll open it, and it'll, it should stop right there. Right now, uh, what I think by the sound that it's making, let me, let me see if we can hear the sound real quick. Right, the motor is actually turning. I believe that the gears, the little bevel gears inside the gearbox, completely shattered or teeth are broken or something like that. So. Well guys, as you can see, that little plastic cam, that's what rotates the stop arm open and close. It's got this little brass, bronze, little sprocket embedded in that little plastic wheel and the motor itself turns it. As you can see, this thing is seized. Motor works, this thing is seized. I, I need to see if I can tr hopefully figure out a way of removing this little sprocket off of this little motor without breaking it so that I can go ahead and slip it back on and just slip another new motor on there. I'm going to still take this one apart so you guys can see the inside of it, how it works, and hopefully we can repair it, but I'm going to stuff a new one on. Let's see here. As you can see, this gear turns. the broken there you go that's the one that's broken right there the broken tooth so I'm gonna go ahead and this is the one that I gotta mess up you gotta push that pin out of this bracket I'm gonna use a chisel set it right there spray with lubricant and just Put this on the vise and just slam that pin or that shaft right out of this gear it's going to fly out the back we don't really care about this so we want to save this little gear right here so let me try and see if i can get it off of here dude i'll be right back with you guys all right guys uh i completely dropped the bottom of this one i should have taken the camera and showed you guys how i got this little this little gear off of the old motor uh, the old motor, I just tore it apart, dude. Uh, basically, the little wheels there, I took the back cover off. You can see the gears. I put it flat on a vise. I used this pointed chisel, put it on the shaft, and just whacked it, tore the inside of the case apart. But this is what I wanted to salvage, this little gear here. So sorry about that, guys. I completely just uh, I dropped the ball on that one. That was my bad. But... I mean, if it does, this is going to happen again in the future. Uh, we'll go, I'll try and see if I can remember to show you guys how to try and salvage some of the parts off of the stop arm before you have to replace it with a new one. I just put the gear on this one and uh, it's ready to go back on the stop arm and uh, it should function, dude. Let me go ahead and put this on and show you guys.
uh, on this one. And this is what it's supposed to do. I mean, if I pull this motor, it'll pull it and it'll stop. Now, if I throw that switch, that motor's gonna bring that stop arm out. It'll stop when it's fully extended and the lights go on, of course. And whenever you turn it off, of course, the motor's gonna pull back. Remember this one, everything was working except the arm was just all loose. So we know that the lights work, the switch works, all that other stuff. All right, so I went ahead and started with the unit, uh, turn that switch so I can show you guys. And it's working, power. I'm gonna go ahead and power up the motor.